What is up guys, it is Arrow here, and today I'm bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. I know you love it. I actually need to get on Call of Duty sometime soon within these next few days and refresh my skizzles and get used to the game again. Um, I haven't been playing for a while. As you can see, I was really bad in that reflex commentary last week or whenever that was that I posted that. And um, yeah, so what I titled this gameplay file as was uh, 44 and 7 PM 63 kick-ass gameplay. So um, towards the end of this gameplay, the last minute or two or so, um, I do go on a rampage. I go hard in the paint. Um, but if you guys want to watch that, you know, stick around. Um, after the commentary, it'll be there because I'm sure I won't take up nine minutes. That's how long this gameplay is. So, um, you know, stick around. After I'm done talking, you'll probably see it. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Now, also, uh, the PM63, by the way, is a really good weapon. It's possibly my favorite weapon in this game, tying with the Enfield. I love both of them. Um, again, now, uh, if you've been to my channel anytime soon, you can see that I have a channel banner, background, uh, whatever, channel art, or whatever it's called nowadays in 2013. Um, it was very beautifully made by a guy that I know named Technoica. I don't know how to pronounce his name. His channel link will be in the description below. Um, he was really cooperative on making it the way I wanted it to turn out. Um, so if you need a channel art or whatever, go ahead and send him a message. Again, his channel link will be in the description below. Also, as you can see, I have a channel uh, profile picture thingy. You know, the little blue circle with the A in it. Um, that was made by a friend of mine named Farn Kaiba. And if you want to check him out, his link will also be in the description below. Um, it has a bunch of numbers and stuff because he uses that whole Google Plus thing, which is really stupid to me. I hate Google Plus or whatever that is that allows two names. But anyways, send him a message if you want one of those two. He's really cool. Um, he, he was very cooperative as well. So um, what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today is a strange little subject. Uh, not strange, really, but um, I'm going to be talking to you about musica. Uh, music, um, for any of you white people out there. There are three pieces of music to me, and also, by the way, stick around, because I want you to participate in a little voting sesh towards the end, all right? Um, so I want to see what people think, and yeah. So now, what I think about music is there are three pieces to every song. Um, I think a song needs two of these three pieces to be an above average song. Uh, the pieces are A, the beat, B, the voice, and C, the lyrics. Um... I think a beat, the beat, voice, and lyrics make the song. If it has two or three of those, it's above average. And uh, my favorite category, ironically, is rap. Rap is a very iffy category for me and for society. Um, typically, people, you know, give hatred towards it, but they don't follow the, the the three out of three scale that I'm giving, the two out of three scale thing. Um, I believe sometimes rap can have good lyrics but most of the time it doesn't but based on the beat or voice usually those two go together very well with rap i think so um lil wayne sometimes hits it off not always like rich as fuck with two chains i think he does pretty good with the uh his voice matches the beat pretty well in that song and i think he does really good there two chains is great i love him he's hilarious um but my favorite uh rapper of all time and artist of all time is drake and especially his older stuff i really love drake and the reason why i think he hits two out of three of those things normally and mo and sometimes he'll even hit three out of three and um i'd say about 25 percent of the time he'll hit three out of three um his lyrics are um are good even when he's not rapping about a good moral song like no lie for instance he does so good in no lie or what was the other song with kendrick lamar and uh what, what was that I can't remember the song now. I'll remember it. I'll leave it in the description if I remember it. Oh, my God. I can do his lyrics, too. I, I just can't think of the name of the song. Um, he does Kendrick Lamar and, and ASAP Rocky. Uh, let me know if you, if you know what I'm talking about in the comments. Anyways, um, he does really good in that. It's not a good moral song, but he does really good. So I just think that is why I've always loved Drake, especially like Miss Me or Marvin's Room or Forever. Or I've always loved listening to Money to Blow. I've, I, I love Drake, and I think he's great. Um, ironic as this is, I prefer t for a song to not have cussing. Um, so when I go into my car and, you know, you hear all these terrible synonyms for human body parts or, or curse words dropped here in every sentence, every other word, even though I cuss like crazy, it's just awkward if my sister's next to me and she's hearing all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Um, anyways, 
Another artist that I love, and I take love as a literal meaning here, is uh, Taylor Swift. I love Taylor Swift. She's fantastic. Um, I think she's adorable, and I think the thing I love about her is that she's innocent. Um, you know, most guys will go for the whole bad girl kind of thing, but I'm not really into that, and the reason why is because, to me, that just seems gross. Um, I'm not, I don't know. I love Taylor Swift. I think she's great. Um, for those of you who don't pay attention to that kind of stuff, she's, pr like, listen to her lyrics next time you hear a Taylor Swift song. She's a, a, a lyrical genius, I would even have to call her that. She's really good. Uh, really good at the lyrics. And, uh, her voice is great. And the beat, if not, I'd say the beat's a, a 1 point, or a point 0.5. So I'd give her a 2.5 out of 3 most of the time. And then there's songs like Trouble and, and Never Getting Back Together, which I'd have to put as a 3 out of 3. I love those songs. So, um, and Forever and Always. But anyways, um, I know that's very contradicting, right? Drake and Taylor Swift. What a, <laughs> what opposites. Um, anyways, uh, what I wanted to say, oh yes, um, if you guys are sad, this is the this is the voting thing, by the way. Okay, so this is what I want to hear. If you guys are sad, say your boyfriend or girlfriend breaks up with you, or your parents die, or you get in a car accident, or you lose your house, or you have to sell your stuff, or something sad happens, and um, would you like to listen to a sad song that has a similar meaning, or would you like to listen to a glad song that tries to cheer you up? Me and my sister were discussing this, and I said, I'd rather listen to a sad song. And she said she'd rather listen to a glad song. So then now I had to see what the public says about this. So if you would like to listen to a sad song, leave in the comments, hashtag sad, okay? And you'll see it on screen right now. If you like to listen to good or glad songs, leave in the comments, hashtag glad. And I want to see, and the results will be in the next video. Um, also, leave with that comment. Don't be afraid. But make sure it says hashtag sad or glad so I know. So I can uh, tally them very easily without me scrolling through every single comment and getting a little checklist out, you know, so I can control find them. Um, hashtag sad, hashtag glad. Also tell me, what's your favorite uh, song? I want to hear your favorite song or singer. Or song and singer. Give me your song, singer, and... Uh, hashtag sad or glad. So I'd ha my comment for example would be uh, song would be uh, everything I do by Brian Adams. I'd say everything I do comma Drake comma hashtag sad. And then that's that. And then you can leave any notes after hashtag sad or glad. So I just want to know and uh, uh, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Oh here comes the game the part of the gameplay. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this gameplay. Keep your eyes on the video and yeah uh, toodles. Thank 